How's it going everyone? So in this video, we're going to be doing a Kegel workout. Before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So the exercise that we're going to be doing today for our Kegels is going to be the regular body weight squat. This exercise is phenomenal for working your Kegel muscles, you guys. So we're going to do five repetitions. We're going to do 10 sets. Video is going to be about 10 minutes long. We take 40 second, 20 minute rest periods. And again, we're really, really going to feel it in our Kegel muscles. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about depth for the squat with this exercise. Now, this is a Kegel workout. It's not a squat workout. So go to whatever depth allows you to really feel your Kegel muscles being worked. If that's parallel, that's sweet. If it's three quarter parallel, that's okay too. If it's super low, that's fine too. Find your squatting pattern and do it. So let's get started right now. Um, five repetitions. So one, two, three, four, and five. I'm just gonna raise the camera a little bit so you guys can see my face. But just, uh, I just wanna show you the first set a little bit. I wanna point the camera down so you can see my depth. My depth is about parallel for the squat. Now, what does parallel mean when talking about squat, low parallel, above parallel? Parallel for your squat just means when your knee joint is across, if you made a little line parallel to your hip joint. So if your hip joint's here and your, uh, your knee joint's here, that makes a straight line that's parallel and it makes a parallel line, that's what parallel means. If your hip joint is above your knee joint, then it's above the parallel. If your hip joint's below your knee joint, it's below parallel. So it doesn't matter what your depth is, as long as you're hitting your Kegel muscles. So let's get started again, five reps. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that, my friends, easy peasy. I'm doing pretty good for videos right now. Uh, this is currently my fifth video of the day. What's awesome about this is this is the last workout video before I get two easy videos. Uh, what I consider easy videos on my channel are videos that only take about five minutes long. I do, um, let's see here. I do one, two, three, four, five, six. I do six videos that are 10 minutes long and I do about five videos on my channel that are five minutes long. I just, I do 11 topics now with my channel. I focus on 11 of the best topics and I just make different workout videos for those 11 topics. That's been doing my channel really good. That's what I'm gonna continue to do for my channel. Let's do another five repetitions. So one, two, three, four, and five. Easy peasy. But yeah, fifth video of the day, feeling pretty good. Whew. Goal would be to make nine videos. Once I make nine, I might shoot for 11, 12, but that's, that's quite a bit of videos to make for the day. If I get nine, I'll be happy. Keep in mind, every three videos that I make takes me roughly one hour to complete. And it's really weird because every time it's like exactly, or like a couple minutes off, one hour. So it's pretty, pretty close. Every three videos equals one hour of time it takes me to make those videos. So if I make nine videos for the day, it's three hours of YouTube, which is quite a bit in my opinion. Doing that constantly day in and day out definitely puts a strain on you. It's a lot of work and uh, it, gets, it gets tiring after a while. But so far, I've been holding up pretty good. So another five reps. One, two, three, four, and five. I've been super motivated last two months. Last two months is when I really picked up my upload frequency and uh, not my upload frequency. I still upload only three videos per day, but I make nine videos per day. So I schedule them. So they're at a later date. You will be able to watch them. But what that means is every single day I have videos being uploaded, which is very beneficial to my channel. It gets me a lot of subscribers, lots of views, and you guys get a ton of great content. Lots of workout vids. That's something that I've changed with my videos is that I used to do a lot of talking videos where I would read from my laptop. I would type everything out on Microsoft Word so I know everything to say. And I would just read from that. I do a lot of informational videos. People thought that was boring. I wasn't getting the amount of views that I wanted to. My channel was still doing really well. But by doing this, I've noticed 
a lot, a lot better in my opinion. One, two, three, four, and five. I just noticed that people enjoy this better and uh, it, it shows by the likes, the new subscribers I'm getting, and the comments on my channel. So it's pretty sweet. I'm gonna keep doing this for as long as I can, as long as I want to. And uh, that's just kind of the way the channel is gonna go in the future, just workout videos. And that's kind of what a fitness channel is. Fitness channel should be demonstrating workout videos. That's all it should be. Yes, a little talking here and there, but your channel shouldn't be vlogging. If you want a vlog channel, do a vlog channel. I think in my opinion, fitness channels should be workout demonstrations, maybe where you talk a little bit in between sets. But if you're having full on vlogs, then I don't know, that's just not fitness to me. And that's what a lot of people are doing, it seems nowadays. A lot of people are just doing this, this vlog stuff. And yeah, I just, I don't know, it's a little weird. Let's do, uh, let's do another five. One, two, three, four, five. I shouldn't say it's weird. Uh, because that's their way of making videos. So if that's their way of making videos, all the power to them, they're helping people out, great job. I just, this is my own way of doing it. And I feel a lot, a lot of people do not do the way that I'm doing it. A lot of people, what they do is they make vlogs, which just showcases their life, they'll go to the gym, they'll work out, they won't really show any tips on how to lose weight, how to build muscle, how to get abs, you won't really show stuff like that. Or you got the total opposite end of the spectrum where just channels where it's all like animations of people doing workouts. I see a lot of those nowadays, a lot of animation type 3 videos of like characters doing workouts, but it's not actually people showing the workout being done. So I've noticed, uh, I've noticed that too. And don't get me wrong, both vlog and the animation style workouts are very impressive. I see both ends of the spectrum doing really well with both subscribers, views, comments, engagement rate. So that's awesome for them. But I don't normally see people doing what I'm doing where I do the workout and then I talk in between the sets. A lot of people, what they'll do in between the sets is they'll totally cut that area out and they won't really talk to the subscriber base during the sets. So I think, I don't know, I like doing that. I like talking to my subscribers, I like telling them what's going on with my day. I kind of get the workout side of it and then I get the personal side of it too. And I like talking. I've done videos before where I've done no talking and it was just the boringest thing in the world, you guys. I did not like it at all. Let's do another five reps. One, two, three, four, five. We are killing it, my friends. One more set and then that is it. Hopefully you guys are feeling it in your Kegel muscles. That's the point of this exercise. Whew. And yeah, I've done, so far I've made an ab video, Kegel video, Bane video, hand grip video, and a weight loss video. So I've done around 400 to 500 repetitions of different exercises. So I'm pretty tired. Um, it's not too bad to do this, but it does put a little bit of stress on your body. So it keeps me in good shape though, making all these fitness videos throughout the day, it keeps me in really, really good shape. So yeah, we'll do another five reps, then the video will be done, my friends. Oh yeah. Okay, so we'll get it, we'll do another five reps. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that, you guys, end the video, great, great job. And again, the point of these exercises is to feel it in your Kegel muscles. I have about 20 to 30 different exercises uh, that I will be showing on my channel for Kegel workouts. And uh, again, once we go through all of them, we're just gonna keep doing them over and over again, um, just because that is how you train. You keep doing the exercises, but you switch them up a little bit. You do a little bit different here, a little bit different here. It keeps the videos engaging and it just switches it up a bit. But it's okay to do the same exercise again, as long as you're switching something up with it. And that's what we'll be doing with these Kegel exercises, you guys. So end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Please like the video, share it. Please follow me on Instagram at Dylan Berg 
triple. Right. Thanks, guys.